Hey guys, what's up? Low rated duelist time. We got D's Nuts 69. You know when your username is D's Nuts 69, you gotta be in low rated duelist. I mean, come on. Best username ever. The best username of the year goes to this man right here. No pun intended. No response time given whatsoever from this guy. Not even gonna put his Rikiri to the extra monster card zone, of course. D Prism, or this, not D Prism, Threatening Roar was activated right off the bat from our player on the red whose username is Dizey. I don't know about that. I mean, why not wait for your opponent to, like, use a MST or something? For all I know, Rikiri could have targeted the Threatening Roar and you wouldn't have lost your magic cylinder, so. I think it was a little too fast on Threatening Roar activation. There's no need to play it right off the bat. And now if you can't deal with these two monsters, they're gonna oh, excuse my fence. He can he can deal with them now. I was saying if he couldn't deal with them, he was about to lose his board. Yes indeed. Rikiri would just keep on popping cards one by one, but here's the free lava golem. Still a three thousand attack monster. And now we can summon more stuff from the extra deck. So, mmm. I guess it's better than having all your cards killed for free, <laughs> but still not in the best of situations for Dizey here. He's got himself a 42 card main deck with zero in the extra deck, or Blackwing player, 60 card Blackwing deck with 15 in that extra deck. As he just went for that first turn with Kiri, he set no back row, end phase the Panaki searched out a blizzard. Can normal summon that blizzard now and try to go for some more synchro shoguns. Blizzard bring back the Chris, go for a level 6 synchro summon. Blizzard bring back Pinaki or Gale, then you would not be able to synchro. So here's a secret blast activated. So it looks like it's going to be some form of burn from Daisy. 300 damage for each car they control. 3, 6, 9, 12. That's what you get for setting first. If he wouldn't have seen, he set this card before he summoned the blizzard. If he wouldn't have summoned this card first, he would have taken less life points. But hey, what do I know about anything? So here is the Blackwing Nathong. The Synchro Cowboy. So this will burn for 800. You can also get an additional normal summon of Blackwing. That seems pretty good. Fully of the Black Whirlwind. Effect normal again. What will it be, boys? Another copy of Chris? Oh no, it's going to be Hurricane the Tornado. Target a Synchro Monster in the field. This card's attack becomes that monster's current attack to the end of the turn. Wow, that's not too shabby. This could almost be game. Actually, this could be game. If this back row is nothing, this game is over. Oh, but there's the Battle Fader! Battle Fader does not get banished. It ends the battle phase. Battle Fader doesn't get banished. It ends the battle phase. Why is Battle Fader banished? I don't know. <laughs> uh, man. Yeah. Apparently no one in the watchers chat has anything to say about that. We already got eight watchers in here. Dang. Let's shout out these watchers. We got Blaze7858, DeBoss3, Demon Reaper, Egyptian Kings, Ellen Windborn, Naruto fan for life and WWE smiley face some nice usernames here this guy is a tuner by the way so D's nuts is gonna normal some of that Zephyros synchro for a level 5 which you cannot do because this is link format here's a salt blackwing so I got the rainstorm Chet link format Chet these Chets are insane well Bringing back the Rikiri is illegal, at least. But yeah. Look at this guy. No fear, mirror force. Oh, he's going to use Rikiri to pop everything. Alright. 
No Fear Torrential Tribute, though. That's the style. No Fear Torrential Tribute. And that'll just be game over from our Blackwing player rematches offered. Will there be a rematch? You've got to do a rematch with all these watchers here. Why is Battle Fader banished? It wasn't destroyed. And that was a great question, Demon Reaper. That was the same exact question I was asking. Here we go! Game number two! GGG. Great good game. That's what GGG stands for. Get good God. Yeah, that's what it really stands for. God, get good. Gosh, get bro. Get, get good, bro. <laughs> Uh, I don't even know what I'm doing. So we're going to pause the video. This is actually... Wait, this isn't 14 minutes. Oh yeah, I did a game before this. That's right. Oh, I might cut that out. So we're going to pause the video away from the side deck. Alright, boys. Here we go. Game number two. Rematch hype. Pot of Duality activated from Dizzy. Interesting burn deck. I don't... I mean, the Threatening Roar and the Battle Faders are nice and all, but they don't really... They don't really do anything for your win condition. They just stall up the game, but they don't... I guess it's good for Lava Golem, but... Mm, it's just a free card you're wasting to just... Deny the inevitable, which is you dying. So you're just going to be dead in the next turn most of the time. I mean, I don't know. So he's going to pop duality into a threatening roar. He's going to set four cards face down on the field and pass it to his opponent. D's nuts, 69. Best username ever. Why didn't I name myself that? Great question. Great question indeed. So anyway, hopefully he takes his turn. He's not he hasn't clicked the button yet. Click the button, bro. Don't make me stand here. I don't know. While we wait, let's check out this public chat. Esposito has a YouTube link to something. Should I click it? It's going to be inappropriate. And <laughs> Naruto fan for life. Type StewDog8 on YouTube and you will find out soon enough. Wow, people are actually talking about me in the, what? In the public chat. What the F StewDog8 is online? <laughs> Who's Steer Dog 8? <laughs> oh my god. What are the odds? These guys are really talking about me in the public chat here. That is pretty cool. Cool indeed. So, anyway. I don't know what's taking these guys so long. We're going to pause the video and wait for something to happen here. Oh, well, that was unfortunate. Unfortunately, this guy had a heart attack at his computer screen. And he he didn't do anything, so his opponent just quit on him. That's a good way to get a free win. Unfortunately, it doesn't really do you that much good. So anyway, we're going to have to pause the video get another duel in. So thank you all for watching this duel. A lot of duelists dying on camera. I think like a couple weeks ago on Low Rated Duelist, we had a duelist die on camera. Everyone's dying, apparently. Dying at their computer screen. Remember... We actually had an episode of Low Rated Duelist a long time ago where someone really did die on camera. No joke. Someone literally just died on camera. Sad day in history. Alright boys, we're back. We got another duel. This is interesting. What the frick? Some interesting prophecy cards here. And a nice username, Poopy Squat. So we got my main man Poopy Squat here at 100-0. Some very nice usernames today in this episode. No denying that. And he's going up against Stever25Y. Getting it 100 0. Now, Stever has got a 55 card deck with 4 in the extra deck. His opponent, Poopy. <laughs> that is a 50 card deck with 14 in the extra deck. Now, it looks like he's already went through a decent chunk of cards here. DDDs? As the Fool of Prophecy uses its effect to special summon Wheel of Prophecy. Do not see this card every day. Solemn Strike used to negate this summon. 
Uh, what? <laughs> yeah. Are you? Where, where? Where are the materials? Where? Okay. Apparently, all you have to do is just reveal a DD swirl swarm, and then this magically comes out. Where the frick are the materials for this? Uh, what the frick? Materials, anyone? <laughs> Alright. Target any number of your banished spellbook card, shuffle them into the deck. Unfortunately, that's useless. Alright, so this is essentially a 2700 beater right now. Are you kidding me? He, he didn't even use any materials to summon this. He just reveals DD Swirl Swam and then this magically comes out of the extra deck. Are you freaking kidding me right now? I'm confused. Yeah, I think we all are. Whatever. <laughs> oh my god. So the Grand Spellbook Tower gets its effect during the standby phase. Gonna shuffle. Well, it doesn't shuffle. I'm gonna put that power to the bottom of the deck and then draw a card. And let's see what else Poopy has up his sleeve here. Already a big fan of that username already. Star Hall. I don't even know how this stuff even came into the graveyard. I don't even remember. I think we came into this duel late. I mean, this was like the first turn of the game. He's gonna normal summon Temperance. He's actually gonna replace his tower with another copy of tower. So we can actually use the Temperance's effect. He's doing this all during the standby phase, of course. Because that's totally legal. <laughs> and now he can finally use the Temperance effect to bring out, hopefully, a World of Prophecy. Even a High Priestess wouldn't be too shabby. He goes high priestess. That's actually exact game, right? Or no, he's actually off by 200. If he goes high priestess, that's unfortunate. But what will it be? High priestess or world of prophecy? Oh, show me the power. Yeah, it's going to be world of prophecy. Oh yeah. Get the effect to add two spell books in the graveyard back to your hand. Don't mind if I do. It's the best effect in the world. No pun intended. That's a pretty good effect. So he gets the free secrets and the free star hall back. And now he's going to reveal four spell books to destroy every card in the field. Uh, yeah, right. He's going to flip over a Jar of Avarice. He's going to shuffle back everything in his graveyard except one card to draw a card. So he's going to shuffle back everything except... Drumroll, please. Drumroll. Not the best of drum rolls. Everything except the Grand Spellbook Tower? No, he's shuffling that back. That was only four, not five. Unless I did that math wrong. I saw six there. Does four equal five now, guys? Does four equal five? I'm gonna have to. Hopefully, I didn't mess that up, but I'm gonna have to rewatch that and hope that wasn't four that he shuffled back. Cause I swore, I swore it saw six there on the graveyard count but whatever secrets played to grab a spellbook power get a counter on the star hall and he's gonna play that power to pump one of these bad boys up by a thousand attack question is which one will it be again doing all of this during the standby phase of course so he's going to pump up his Wheel of Prophecy up to 3,700 attack points. Actually, it's at 39 right now because you cannot forget about this beautiful Star Hall. And let's see if he's going to go into battle phase or not. He has some more plays up his sleeve. He's doing the math for his opponent. That's pretty nice of him. Very good at math. Very, very talented math. Attacks over a random noble knight. 
Artrique? What? What even is this? We saw DDD. DDD Noble Knights? What the frick is this? If you would have told me the set monster would have been Noble Knight Artrigus, I would have said you were crazy. Wow. No one shall ever know the truth behind that faithful day. Artrigus went forth to where the brilliant sword didst lay. Twas the first of many feasts so great. A legend through and through we sing of him. Artricus, the noble and the brave, from the tales of the noble knights. <laughs> that's just that's just beautiful. That right there is just beautiful. And this entire this entire paragraph of text is probably one of the most beautiful things I've ever read in my life. Dang. So, Spobic knowledge is activated in main phase two. And now we get to see Finnish here in the chat. I don't know what language. I guess that's Finnish. So Stever, not a native English speaker, unfortunately. But who cares? When you got Google Translate. We all know how good Google Translate is. So another counter on the Star Hall, please. Yep. He's actually going to give up his Wheel of Prophecy to draw two. I don't know about that. Going to give up your powerful 20... 900 attack monster for the two cards. Hopefully that'll be worth it. Oh, Diane Kito, the kill monster. Oh, and you got the butt ugly artwork. Oh, that artwork, not like this. <laughs> artwork. Oh my God, <laughs> not like that. Oh my God, bro. Why are you playing this artwork of Dian Kito, the Kira Master? Why? Increase your life points by 1,000 points. There's a Regeki activated, so isn't that convenient? You got your one and only Regeki. And like a 55 card deck. And I was able to get rid of that World of Prophecy, so I guess it was a good play to use your Spellbook of Knowledge on your... Wheel of Prophecy. He was playing around the Regeki that he knew his opponent had in the hand because he is the Millennium Eye. Man, Poopy Squat has the Millennium Eye. How did he know he had the Regeki? That was a perfect play. And now we get to see a random Dark Blade normal summoned from Stever. And uh, pff, he's going to Solemn Strike the Dark Blade. What? What? Solemn Strike? Oh my god. Yeah, you can't do that. Oh, he's going to Solemn. <laughs> All right, so I guess he uh, got a little too trigger happy there. My bad, wrong one. <laughs> oh my god, I was like, "There's no way you're actually solemn striking a dark bribe or a dark blade," and <laughs> he's just gonna quit. <laughs> oh my god! Strike on attack, good. Oh, that was hilarious. That was freaking hilarious. What deck was this from Stever? Like, what even was this? I don't even know, guys. But anyway, thank you all for watching this episode of Lower Rated Duelist. Some of the best usernames ever. D's Nuts 69 and Poopy Squat. Big props to these guys for coming up with such creative usernames. Overall, look at this man. He's still playing out his deck. Let's see. What else does he have up his sleeve? That 14 card extra deck because it's so hard to think of one extra card. <laughs> God, that was hilarious. Look at this man still go. It's like his opponent didn't even quit. He's still playing out the duel and everything. That's what I like to say. So anyway, uh, thank thanks for everyone for being here in the watchers chat. Demon Reaper, Caillou Rem 77. We had Egyptian Kings. Big thanks for everyone who was in that previous duel as well. And that's all I got for this episode of Low Rated Duelist. So thanks for watching, and until next time, this has been Stew Dog, and I'm signing out.